welcome back uh, to the lecture again so uh, in this lecture again this lecture is a continuation of the previous lecture the basic pharmacological responses so we are going to discuss the linear effect concentration model which is a simple basic pharmacological response model where we consider that you know the effect is following a linear, linear pattern so as you may have noticed in, in our previous uh, slides so we we have deduced this equation E is equal to S times C I mean it's nothing but the effect is equal to slope times concentration right effect is equal to slope times concentration where if your concentration is increasing by one unit okay if your concentration is, in, is increasing by one unit your, your effect is increasing by two units based on this like y is equal to 2x the same thing you know in in the in this equation too like you know for example uh, for a given set of data points when we uh, you know plotted on you know uh, this simple yet xy graph on y axis this effect and on x axis the concentration so we came across this equation y is equal to 2x plus 4 right so y is equal to 2x plus 4 this is a simple equation so here y at y is equal to 2x plus 4 we have like you know uh, this additional plus 4 is there in the previous equation you know y is equal to x but here is we have y is equal to 2x plus 4 so why is this that means like this shows that you know there is already some kind of effect at zero concentration of the drug right so for example e is equal to e naught s times c so even for example if we plug in c is equal to zero I'm sorry one second guys so if we plug in c is equal to zero what will happen this 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 whole uh, you know s times zero becomes zero and e is equal to effect is equal to e naught that means the effect at concentration the effect at concentration is equal to zero is equal to e naught which is nothing but you know which is nothing but the the intersection of these plotted points right so that is how it is right now so the same thing if you want to again this um, y is equal to mx plus c or e is equal to e naught time e naught plus s times c um, this equation basically is is good enough for the interpolation guys is good enough for interpolation not for extrapolation because we have no clue whether our data points may go like this or may go like this we have no clue right so it's not good for extrapolation so it is good enough for only for interpolation beneath my maximum concentration okay so here on this linear effect concentration model we simply uh, you know came up with an equation y is equal to mx plus c or e is equal to e naught plus s times c if you want to correlate you can you know compare this y is equal to x plus 4 with this where y is my where in y is the x-axis which is the effect here as you can see here and e naught is the intersection point which is 4 here as you can notice this point 4 and 2 times x that's 2 times the concentration which you know is 2 times x is nothing but x is a concentration right so this is how we are getting so right now we have concentration from 0 to 10 but what if we have concentration like in the ranges of hundreds like you know 2 0 10 100 1000 something like that then what do we do it's a simple it's pretty simple if we have uh, a concentration in the range of uh, in in ranges of hundreds or thousand then what we do is we simply convert our data into natural log so convert the data into natural log and plot those concentrations in the form of natural log like this as I'm showing so plot this data in the form of natural log okay and just 
you know plot in the same way as you plotted the previous uh, previous two you know equations one is e is equal to s c s times c that is e is equal to nothing s is nothing but slope guys m which is slope right or e is equal to s times c plus s the inter intersection uh, i'll say b okay so the same thing like that okay i'm sorry here I, i'll say e naught let's say e naught okay in either way so but here our c since we already converted c into natural log so i'm going to simply replace c as ln of c that's it so e is equal to e naught plus s time e is equal to e naught e is equal to e naught plus s times natural log of concentration concentration that's it okay all right so let's get back to the next slide okay so in the, pre in the next lecture i'm going to discuss about the law of mass action law of mass action i'm sorry and so how the drug binding with the receptor is going to elicit an effect so the drug d is going to bind with the receptor and it's going to you know this dr will elicit some kind of effect so we're going to discuss all that in detail okay